What's up guys, Tea Party Percy here and welcome back to another guide. And I hope you guys are already hyped about the OBT and most of you should know, a few days ago the Media X showcase revealed that the OBT gonna start on 7th November. So a little bit more than a month left and till then I'm gonna provide you guys a lot more guides to prepare yourself for the OBT. And we're gonna start with the guide which will explain you everything you need to know to play the OBT. So how to get an account, a verified one, which VPN you should choose and some other stuff which you need to know about it. I know this video is going to be a little bit longer so that's why I'm going to make timestamps in the description. You can go there and skip to the stuff which you want to listen. You will also find in the description all the links you need or all the websites and the links for those websites which I'm going to talk about in this guide. But as always, before we start with that, let me talk about something else, especially what they taught in the media showcase. I won't go through everything because Lost Dark Database and also Leco translated those things pretty well. So they did a great job. I don't need to do it again. But I want to talk about a little bit only, so it won't take long. So I want to talk about the cash shop. There were a lot of guys afraid and asked me, is it gonna be pay to win? And you know, I won't sugarcoat anything. I think at the moment it doesn't look like it is pay to win. We don't know how the future is gonna be. So yeah, at the moment, you know, they say they don't want to cross the line and they're gonna stay and focus um, on the necessary stuff and they won't provide anything in the cash shop, which gonna give some players item level or gear advantage. Okay, let's take a quick look here at the stuff which you can buy in the cash shop. So obviously costumes and mounts and they won't have any stats, so don't worry about that. This one is your background for the login screen. I don't care about it, but I know there will be some guys who are gonna get the backgrounds unlocked. Here, this is the revive feather. It's decent, it won't be a game breaker. Um, pets, cosmetics, similar to that. Um, faster crafting, so if you craft stuff, uh, it's gonna take a while. And if you have, I guess, VIP or premium, you can craft a little bit faster. No, as long as you won't get any additional attributes on it, it won't be pay to win. Then we have the tickets, which is more important. So you can do um, a few more dailies. I hope there will be a limit. So if there is a limit, like you can only buy five tickets per day, or it's like if you buy a VIP, you will have two extra entries, that's fine. So this won't be a game breaker because a ticket doesn't mean you will always get the best um, stuff out of the content. So um, let's move on to the tool here. If you watch my combat items and life skill guide, you should know what the tools do. Um, a small correction there, bl the blue tools increase your um, life skill. Yeah, by plus two. And this golden one, we don't know for sure, but let's hope it won't increase it to plus three. The best thing which it could do is like, it could have an increased durability, so it won't break every time you use it. That would be awesome and I would get it and it won't be a game breaker either. Okay, that's what we all know about this. And also a quick info here, guys. This is um, our um, collection of guides. So there are not only my guides, also other guides, also, Google Docs, I added those um, yesterday. Um, some of those, especially this one, the Mokoko Seed location is really awesome for all those achievement hunters here. And then we have also guides in different languages and um, languages and um, tools like the Tripod Planner. So if you, I miss anything here or if one of those links doesn't work, just DM me in Discord or message me here on YouTube also have some community websites for different languages. So check those out, guys. Now let's get back to our main topic, which is how to play OBT. And also a lot of you guys already asked me, yes, if you have already an account which was verified and maybe if you tried with that account to get into the previous CVTs and you weren't uh, lucky, or maybe if you even if you were lucky, you can all use those accounts and you can get or you will be able to play the OBT with those accounts. So don't worry about that. And some of you guys also ask me, there are two events. So do we have to participate there um, to get into the OBT? Nope, you don't have to. I'm going to go through those events pr pretty quick because um, 
yeah, there are some stuff which I need to explain. So the first event is ab about um, those three items. So if you pa take part in that event, you're going to get with 100% guarantee uh, those three items. This is a cosmetic one, this is a title, so I don't care about those. They won't give you any stat benefits. This is a more important one, but it's not a mandatory item. It's a card which is maxed out. Will help you on the cat if you're interested in card battles. It can help you definitely, but it's not a must have. To participate in this event, you need a Korean phone number. And I can tell you that, guys, you need a contract uh, Korean phone number. A prepaid phone number won't work. Um, also, there are plenty of websites where you can do uh, or make a Korean phone number, a virtual one. Those won't work either because those numbers are not contract um, phone numbers. So just pay attention to that. If you have a Korean phone number or a friend who has a contract phone number, you can ask for his uh, number, you can put it in here and um, also he will get a message, a code and you can enter it later in the game and you will get those items. This one is not in uh, interesting for us because even if you win the TV here, it's just by chance, you won't be able to get it, get it. I guess you don't live in Korea. The second event is even less mandatory I would say um, because yeah here is a chance to win those items here you won't get it and if you share th uh, the those events in your in the social media you have you will get 100 cash up uh, currency I don't think it's going to be much and I don't think it's um, worth risking that you link it in um I don't know uh, in a German Facebook account or uh, I don't know where you live so I wouldn't risk it so those events are not mandatory to get into the OBT actually there is no get into the OBT as mentioned as long as you have a verified account you can play the OBT now let's move on to the account which is gonna be the most important thing obviously to play the OBT or to participate in the OBT so as mentioned earlier you need a verified account the easiest way and I bet most of you guys can't do this that's why you guys are here and listening to me so the easiest way would be if you have a Korean friend and he has a Korean iPin and he can use it to verify your account so if you have a friend like that you can just make an account and as soon as you log in in stove it will require a verification and you ask your friend for his iPin first password to second password and if you use Google Chrome that shouldn't be problem at all because Google Pro Chrome can you translate everything and that works on Lost Ark website. But I guess as mentioned you don't have the opportunity to do that so let's move on to buying account which is the only option left for you guys if you don't have a Korean friend. So there are two websites which offers you accounts. First one is the new game way and as you see here I already searched for Lost Ark and this, there's only one result here which is the Lost Ark Korea verified account. New wing, uh, Gameway is uh, a little bit cheaper compared to the next web, uh, website we're going to talk about and there's not much to say. All in all both websites will give you about the same information so I'm going to explain it later and um, there is there are small differences I'm going to tell you which of those two I prefer at the prefer at the end. So let's move on to the next website, which is going to be OBT Games. As you can see, just search for Lost Ark, and you will find those four results. This these two are like not in interesting for us, so those two are more important. This one is the account, and as you can see, it's a little bit more expensive compared to New Game Way, and you will get the same things like if you buy an account here in OBT game or new game way you will get the account name the account password the email and the email password if you don't get the email um, address and the email password just message them and they should give you to give it to you but usually you will get all those four things together so as soon as you have an account you could actually change the from the stove account the email address or the password I asked a few guys in the Discord if they already did it. I personally didn't do it, but they told me they did it and it didn't require a re-verification. What is a re-verification? A re-verification is something where you have to re-verify your account with the used iPin again. The only way you, it should trigger or get triggered is if you don't log in with your account frequently. I guess that won't be the case in 
the future because you will log in with this account to play the game so obviously that won't trigger but a few guys had the problem between the cbts um they forgot to log in frequently i think it needs you or it requires you to log in at least once per year i'm not sure about that but if you don't do that um, it's gonna be inactive account and you need the same ipin to re-verify an account but i can promise you that if a re-verification is needed most likely the account will be lost the reason for that is they need the exact same ipin which they used to verify your account also to re-verify your account and they don't keep track on that and that's why it will be impossible to re-verify an account so it shouldn't happen but if it happens it will be hard to get your account back as mentioned some of the guys in discord told me that changing the password or the email from the stove account shouldn't be a problem won't need a re-verification uh, so not sure about that you can test it but do it if you want to test it before the obt starts so that you won't lose any progress which you had on your account so now the next important thing why i prefer obt game over new game way it's just a small thing but still you can buy here in obt game the stove cash this cash you will most likely i'm 99 sure you will use this cash to buy stuff from the in-game shop so obt game you they provide you with an account and you can also buy cash um from or in-game cash from this site but even if you bought your account from new game way you could provide the guys from obt game those account details and they will top you up top up your account with item cash or the in-game cash currency and you heard it right if you want to top up your account with the cash um, you have to provide them your account name and the password they will log in and charge um, some um, or put some balance the item cash balance in your account and give the account back and there is no other way but as mentioned earlier you could do that and after that you could change back your password to be on the safe side I did something similar with in Mu Legend Korea. I played Mu Legend Korea and I used OBT games to get some in-game currency and it worked pretty well and as soon as I did it I always changed my password and I didn't have any problems with that. I know some of you will ask me later if there's another way to get some in-game currency on Lost Ark, but I'm pretty sure it, there won't be anything else. If you have any any other methods you can DM me and I will update this guide but they won't accept PayPal or credit cards like you know usually the other games would do. As mentioned earlier you will find the links in the description but I want to tell you guys those two links from New Game Way and OBT games in the descriptions are affiliate links so I don't want to tell you that's just normal links. You can use it and I will get certain percentage if you buy an account uh, like an I don't know in g2a or something like that you don't have to use it you can just go for their website and buy it if you want but if you want to support me it's i think just eight percent but still eight percent of their what you buy so if you want to support me you can use that link and buy an account so the next big thing which you need to play lost ark is a vpn why do you need a vpn of course because it the game itself is restricted only for korean guys or korean players and you need a Korean IP to play the game. You will also need a Korean IP to download and patch the game. Sometimes if you disconnect while or while you're downloading, you can download without or patch without the VPN active, but it doesn't work all the time. I tried to disconnect while I was playing and during the loading screen, that doesn't work. As soon as you disconnect from VPN, it's gonna kick you out from the game. And I wouldn't risk it also because maybe it's gonna keep in a protocol that the IP, the, your real IP, and it could lead to a ban. Not sure about that and not worth risking. So, which VPN do we have and which one is the best? First, we're going to talk about Mudfish, and Mudfish is the most used one for the previous CBTs. What does Mudfish have? Mudfish has a game VPN and full VPN. What a game VPN and a full VPN is, I already have a complete mudfish english guide i will link it below check it out i explain there what the difference are and if you watch that guide and if you decide for um, mudfish 
um, you should be able to install and configure it uh, and play with it, the OBD. So check the guide out. And also, Mudfish is pretty cheap. It uses pay per traffic, which means you only pay for what you use. And if you top up three bucks, it could last for more than one month, depending on how often and how much you play. Compared to the other alternative, which is going to be the NordVPN, Mudfish has a better ping, but a slow download speed. Ping is more important for playing the game and the download speed is more important for patching and downloading the client. Also keep in mind, you need to top up credit to test pings to certain nodes on Mudfish. Some guys had an error um, and or was asking in the comment section in, below the video, the Mudfish guide, why they can't check anything. Of course, because they didn't top up or had any credit on their Mudfish account. Also here uh, on my Mudfish guide, there was a small mistake. I corrected it in the comments, so read the first comment and there shouldn't be any other problems. It should be pretty easy to set up if you watch the guide. Now let's move on to the next option we have for VPN, which gonna be NordVPN. It's a lot ex more expensive, so you have different plans here. For one month only, it's gonna cost you nearly 12 bucks. And if you get the year plan, it's gonna cost you six or oh, nearly seven bucks per month. But why is NordVPN or in which situation you should get NordVPN? First of all, NordVPN is full VPN. It doesn't offer you game VPN, which could be a problem for those guys who want to surf in the internet or listen to music in the internet while you are playing. As mentioned, just listen to my Mudfish guide when I explained what a game VPN and full VPN is. But the advantage here is you have no data limit. So if you have a month plan or whatever, a year plan, you can use it as much you want. You can download as much you want. There is no restriction and the balance, there is no balance like in um, Mudfish where you have to pay per traffic. So usually I have, I can tell you that I have NordVPN and Mudfish. <laughs> And I use NordVPN to download patches and to download the client because NordVPN has also compared to Mudfish a lot higher download speed but it has a worse ping so I tried both in the previous beta and I always had better ping with Mudfish in game if you had the right nodes so it's really important that you have the night right nodes in Mudfish and also use the advanced uh, mode like I suggested in the guide. The next thing is you have a browser extension here, NordVPN proxy extension. I won't click on it because it's gonna reveal some data. So I have it always active and um, it's kind of like a proxy. I have at the moment a German IP, so it's really close. I won't have any delays, but you could use it to have a Korean IP just to log into the Lost Ark website, for example. I would really suggest you to guys, don't log in with your account details on Stove or Lost Ark website without a VPN. You risk to lose your account because it's gonna make most likely a protocol which IP you used uh, to log in. So which is gonna be your current location if you don't use any VPN. So just play safe, use a VPN before you log into Stove or to um, Lost Ark website using your account details. Now, as mentioned, I would suggest you guys to get Mudfish. If you don't want to pay money for both, get Mudfish. You can use Mudfish also for patching as long as those patches are not too big. But you could also use it to, I don't know, for the first time you, could, uh, you can top up a, lot, a little bit more just to download the client and then you only need patches, right? Now, the last thing which we're going to talk about today is something which could save you a lot of time and maybe also a lot of money. So usually you guys would have to download the OBT client by using NordVPN or using Mudfish, which gonna use a lot of credit or balance. You could maybe avoid that. For example, for the last CBT, I didn't download the full CBT3 client like the most guys did. I used the old CBT2 client, which I already had because I played the CBT2 and started to download the CBT3 client and just replace the folder with the CBT2 files. And it just updated or patched that file to CBT3 client. 
by doing so, I avoided to download 26 gigabyte and just needed to patch like a few gigabytes, one or two gigabytes. Save time and save traffic from Mudfish. I think it is also highly possible that it's gonna work for the OBT client too. For that, you're gonna use this link here. A guy who uploaded the CBD3 client, uh, most of you uh, or most of the guys also downloaded it from him, but um, I can see here he's offering some accounts for six bucks. I wouldn't suggest you guys to buy accounts from him. I don't know this guy. I, I don't know if he's trustworthy, but I, I'm pretty sure this th those files or the CBD3 files are legit because already a lot of guys from the community downloaded it from here and this is the only guy who uploaded the cbd3 clients till now so that's why we have to use this link so basically you don't you can download it already now and keep it and wait until the um, stove allows preloading the obt client you log into the stove of course while having vpn active you shouldn't log into stove same goes for the website without a korean uh, ipn um, sorry korean vpn active and as soon as you have that, you log in and start to download the OBT client. And if you download the first megabyte, stop it, close the client, and you will have already some folders in the destination where you wanted to install it. Go there, replace the OBT client folder. Just remember the name of the folder with the CBD3 client folder, so which you're going to get by extracting those and just rename it. And then start stove client again. And it should, if it worked, it should start to patch it only and not download the full client. By doing so, and if it works, as I mentioned, you're going to save money and time. If it doesn't work, just delete the folder again and start downloading it normally by using NordVPN or with Mudfish. Of course, Mudfish is going to take away a lot of balance because the game will be most likely more than 26 gigabyte big. That's it for today guys, so if you have any questions left, as always, feel free to ask it in the comments. There is also the Discord for, from our Tea Party community in the description, you can join the Discord and ask there. I already informed most of my guild members, even if I am not online, they should be able to help you out. And also, at the moment we are still full, but in the last few days we had a lot of um, guild requests. So. As soon as we have more slots, which will we have soon, we are clearing up the guild from um, some inactive players soon. So then we will ask in our Discord first before we uh, go to the other Discords and recruit more members. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope it helped you. And see you guys on the next guide. Bye bye, your Tea Party Percy.